Modern Warfare 3. It could be perfect, but it's not. I think it could be. They definitely have the potential in this game to make it a perfect Call of Duty. Don't you think if they took out stop they took out stopping power from every single gun because as you probably know, it's built into every single gun. Don't you think if they uh defused it from every single gun, removed overkill and replaced it with stopping power, switched to extreme conditioning and assassin Blast Shield buffed it to Flak Jacket and made the first tier Blind Eye, Recon, Sleight of Hand, Scavenger, and Assassin. Second tier Extreme Conditioning, Bla Blast Shield slash Flak Jacket, Quick Draw, Hardline, and Stopping Power. That since no one can use Blind Eye and Assassin together, since the guns don't kill as fast, and that Stopping Power is that oh, now that every single second tier perk is a viable perk, don't you think that would add a lot more balance to the game? Just left, leave the third perk as it is because every single third perk is incredible. I mean, Marksman lets you see people from forever away. Stalker uh, hides you from explosives. Syrup, you can hear people a mile away. Steady aim if you're a good hip fire. Dead Silence is always a universal good perk. Maps. Why in the world did they even think of making maps such as Fallen, Outpost, Interchange, Downturn? Just get those out of the game. Get those maps, Bakara, Resistance, Village, and Underground. Get all those maps out of the game. Keep Hardhat, Mission, Dome, Carbon, Sea Town, Arcaden, Lockdown, Bootleg, and replace them with old maps that everyone knows and loves, such as Shipment, Rust, Favela, Afghan, High Rise, Scrapyard, Terminal, Vacant, Crash. They already have Terminal in. That's a step in the right direction. But the other maps are horrible. Just get rid of them. Unless you do like them, maybe you can have a playlist for the stupid maps. Uh, if the, What if they nerfed the ACR, MP7, PP90, P90, and Type 95? They already buffed the guns. I think the Type 95 still needs a nerf. ACR has ridiculous range, high fire rate, and you can hit fire people, and it's an assault rifle. What the heck? MP7, no recoil, and has range, and it's an SMG. It's not how it's supposed to be. PP90's rapid fire is higher than freaking Tyga. What the heck, man? That was a stupid reference. I feel dumb now. Anyway, rid the game of support, death streaks, rocket launchers. If I call an H6 or Pavlo, it shouldn't be d be down in half a second. I'll get more into that towards the end of the video. Noob tubes, they need to be gone. Spawn protection. If if you deserve, if you get a 12 kill streak, you deserve to do work in it. Spawn protection is dumb. Get rid of the pointless p proficiencies such as breath. That is a dumb proficiency. I only think I've been killed by breath one time, and the guy was camping in the back. If you want, if Infinity War truly wanted to discourage camping, what if you had more health, no, not just more health, you had 100% of your health while you were moving around, but if you're just sitting there and not doing anything, you only had 70-60% of your health, something like that. Wouldn't that make the game so much better? Wouldn't less people be sitting in corners and more would be running around, getting kills and not just sitting there, trying to get their uh, AMPs that takes no skill to get? Why do people get stupid point streaks for shooting down stuff that I worked hard for? That's dumb. You want to know why No, you don't see that many assault uh, gameplays on YouTube? It's because Specialist outshines it in every single category. Is Specialist the only thing that is better in assault? Maybe not every single category Specialist outshines it in, but the only good thing is about assault that say you get an 18 kill streak on or 17 kill streak, whatever an Osprey Gunner is. If you get a 17 kill streak on Specialist and you die, you have nothing to show for it. But for Assault, you get an Osprey Gunner. But it doesn't matter because it'll be deep down as soon as you launch it up anyway. You can't shoot them anyway because of spawn protection. Like I said, I'll get more into that later. Why do I get to go into Ground War and I get the pleasure of getting a uh, downturn team deathmatch, outpost team deathmatch, outpost kill confirmed, stupid maps like that on team deathmatch, and kill confirmed. Why are they in ground war? I think people, the only reason people play ground war is for 9v9 domination. Make a 9v9 playlist for every single game mode. We want 9v9 domination. We want 9v9 kill confirmed. We want them just separated. That way we can pick and choose what we want to play. That's how it would be. <sighs> Make the, make the good maps available more often. But if you get rid of the stupid maps, then the good maps will be like 
every single game. Not once on COD 4 have I said, oh man, vote to skip shipment, that map's horrible. Not once did I say, vote to skip high rise, I hate high rise. Not once did I say, terminal sucks, let's just completely vote to skip. No one ever said that. No one wants to skip hard hat. No one wants to skip dome. Those are the best maps in the game. So why don't we get to play them more often? Or why don't we get to pick which map we want to play when we want to play it? And look in the background. This is what kill streaks should be doing. If I get a 12 kill streak to get an AC-130, I should be destroying. I should be getting triple kills, quad kills. I should be getting five man kills all the time. This is how kill streaks should work. Even if they can shoot me down, I still have flares, but they're not going to be able to shoot me down because the spawn protection is not in the game. Oh my gosh, Infinity Ward, are you blind? We have been yelling at you for nine months now. Why don't you understand? I'm done, guys. This is Logan signing out. Peace.